Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football here at the Needville 7-on-7 State Qualifier Tournament. Here's the head coach of the Brookshire Royal Falcons, Coach Theatis Regans. Coach, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to uh, chat with us before your kids get going today. Uh, no problem. Thank you for coming down and supporting us, Matt. Thank you. All right, Coach, first off, uh, your kids, you know, playing 7-on-7 seven seven today. And we, all, we all know it's not real football. The big boys aren't out here. We all love we love the offensive and defensive linemen, but I know there's a lot of things that you can take away from your guys competing today. So when you're, when you're here in the end zone watching them compete, what do you want to see out of your kiddos today? Uh, it's not real football, but the, but the thing is, in Ford, we don't have spring football. So this is actually our spring football. An opportunity for our guys to get reps and get better. And like you just said, compete at the highest level. So we just want to continue to compete. Uh, we say stacking days. So I mean, stacking days mean getting better every day. All right, Coach. Now, uh, you know, looking at your ball club, when you, when you took over this program, you know, there, there was a lot of struggles here. You know, that, that, you know, getting into the playoffs, I think, was kind of a big deal at Royal for, you know, because there had been some lean times. I think at this point, you're, you're in year four? Is this yeah, year four? Year four, yes, sir. Okay. Year four. So you guys have become a consistent team, getting into the postseason, able to, able to make a play, you know, get, get into the postseason. Your time at North Shore, before you came here, you've been around championship programs, so you know what it takes. What do you think you guys, what have you told your kids this offseason about trying to take it to the next level and not just becoming a playoff team, but being a team that can play Thanksgiving weekend and beyond? I think the last couple of years, those guys have expected to win. So every game, every game they go, out, they expect to win. So now we just try to uh, uh, have a foundation with that, with that, and they continue to try to get better every day. So like you said, we made the playoffs the last two years, but now the guys have a feeling like we want to take our game to the next level. So the conversation around the locker room, the field house, and the school is, coach, what do we need to do to take our game to the next level to, to uh, get past that first round? So those guys are doing the things, the small things, working hard in the weight room, uh, being good teammates, and just working their butt off. To try to get that get that uh, accomplished. All right, coach. Now looking at EUI realignment there in February, uh, a few changes. You, you lose Belleville and Sealy, but I think your district overall is still going to be tough. A lot of good football in your district. When when you got your packet on realignment day there in February, you know when you look at your new district, you know what what are the challenges that they're going to bring? Because I know there's a lot of good coaches and a lot of good teams in your district. Uh, like you said, we got a lot of good uh, uh, teams in the district. We still got West Columbia, who's came second place. Uh, we got Lamarck, who's a very good, solid uh, athletic team. Uh, we got Sweeney, uh, who's a very competitive as well. So we, and we got Warden. So those four teams have always been consistent. They always played us hard, and we're going to play them hard. And we got the two, like you said, the Katie Harmony and Katie at Sugarland Sports. So we don't know what to expect from them, but we expect them to come out and compete as well. All right, Coach. Now, final question for you. When we look ahead to 2024 and the Royal Falcons, yeah, do you have an idea of what you guys are going to hang your hat on in 20, 20, 2024? What, what are the Falcons, what's the personality of your ball club going to be next year? Okay, so we got a, a starting quarterback who will be a three-year starter. Uh, we got a starting running back, uh, Zakai Anderson, who will also be a three-year year starter. We got a guy, uh, Noah Lasker, who is an all-district player, both offense and defensively. So we got a lot of young, skilled guys. So the biggest thing we're working on there is getting our uh, O-line and D-line solidified. We got some, a lot of good talent there with that as well. So we just got to keep on building and stacking days and, again, our guys competing and, and getting better. I guess as a, as a coach, you can never have too many good offensive and defensive linemen, right? Absolutely not, and I think that's one of the biggest things. You got to have that, and we had that in the past. So we got to uh, build our young guys up and develop them, and hopefully they'll get to that level where they can help us out on on, on Friday nights. Coach, appreciate your time. Uh, congrats on all the success. Good luck in 2024, and as always, we appreciate what you do for student athletes in the state of Texas. Absolutely, Th Matt. Thank you, and appreciate you for your support again.